Hi, I'm Ashley Sinclair from the Cronkett Weather Center. Let's take a look at what's happening outside. Currently, it's 112 degrees out and it's only gonna cool down just slightly. We're still gonna be in those triple digits because at 10 p.m., as you can see, it's only 106. But some relief, early Thursday morning, these are the temperatures that we're gonna be looking at. As you can see up here in Window Rock, it's gonna be cooler with 52, and then as we work our way down, Sholo, Safford, and Douglas are gonna be in that, you know, 65, 70 degree region. But now for the hot cities. So starting Bullhead, 90 degrees, and then all the cities down here, Yuma, Quartzsite, and Lake Havasu around 95, 91. And then back home in the valley, you can see that Gila Bend's at 88, Phoenix is at 92. This whole area is gonna be still a little warm, but not too bad. And that's because the state of Arizona is currently under an excessive heat warning, but only for this west-hand side. So once we go down to the hot temperatures, this is where you can see where everything is something to, you know, kind of worry about. Bullhead City is at 120, and again, this west side is honestly the hottest part of the state. 19 in Havasu, 117 in Quartzsite, and 115 in Yuma. Again, Gila Bend and Phoenix are still in that triple digit 115 region. All these cities up here are actually in that triple digit, except for Payson and Flagstaff that are in that cooler 91-93. But again, you can see that the majority are going to be struggling with that heat. So let's take a look at the eight-day forecast of what we can expect. As again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be in the triple digits, so please, you know, stay hydrated, stay inside. And as the week continues, we're going to get a little bit of cloud cover, 20% chance of rain Sunday and Monday, which is going to bring some humidity. But there's going to be no relief in relaxing and getting a little bit of that cooler temperature because we're still going to be in those triple digits. With the lows of only 90 and 80 degrees, it's definitely a hot one, so stay inside, try, you know, keep some shade on you, cover up, and sunscreen is always a good thing. From the Cronkite Weather Center, I'm Ashley Sinclair.